how to download and install Ruby on Windows computer so be it Windows 7 8 or 10 you can download you can follow these step and download Ruby on any Windows operating system hi my name is Amul and welcome to my channel this is TapTube and please subscribe for my channel if you haven't yet thank you now I'm going to show you how you can download it and install it on Windows machine so this is rubyinstaller.org this is the place where you should go ahead and download Ruby from and this is the home page so this is how it looks like so th these are the latest Ruby releases if you can see and if you go down you can, if you have some questions click on FAQ if you want to join mailing list you click on mailing list if you want to have a look on the contributor page you can click on here this takes you to the github page and it's very very easy to join github now just watch a few videos on YouTube and you would be able to easily join some of the open source projects so a few extra things if you want you if you just want to try Ruby online without installing on your machine you click on here and this takes you to online Ruby programming course okay however if you are interested in rails you just have a look on this link so in this video I'm going to download and install Ruby on my Windows 7 computer so I'll simply click on download here or here this takes you to the downloads page here you see on this downloads page if you have a look on the right which version to download basically Ruby community recommends you to download and install the most you know compatible and tested uh, Ruby releases only okay so the Ruby community now this is 2017 January the 28th so the Ruby, Ruby community suggests you to download and install 2.2.x installers only because these provide a stable language and extensive list of packages so packages in Ruby community are called the gems and because these are most compatible and updated installers okay so this is why they recommend here so you will always see one recommendation whenever you come back next thing you have to choose one Ruby installer for your operating system if it's 64 bit you can choose a 64 or 32 so 2.2.x is going to be this one 2.2.6 now you have to decide which one you want 32 or 64 bit so I have 64 bit operating system and processor architecture I'm going to download it click on this and this is going to be downloaded but I'm not going to download I already have one downloaded I'll go to downloads folder and here is the Ruby installer right click and just open it or run as an administrator does not make any difference here you have to select the language you only have one more language that is Japanese you guessed it right yeah then you click on accept the license I want TD and TK support Ruby executables to the path yeah associate RB and RBW files to Ruby installers here we go now click on install and this is done so this is how easy Easy it is okay. Now you click on finish and I'll quickly show you how Ruby looks like. So I'll go back to my CMD and I'll show you how Ruby looks like. To check the Ruby if you, if it's been downloaded and installed, simply type Ruby space dash V and this tells you Ruby 2.2.6 package that's 396 and this is release date this is revision if there is any 64 bit okay now we will test Ruby so there is a Ruby interactive shell IRB if you 
just type IRB and press enter you will get IRB main that's Ruby interactive shell here if you so Ruby is very friendly language it's for beginners and especially for the kids if kids want to learn any language I would recommend start with Ruby it's very easy okay so we can do some calculation if you want uh, 3 plus 19 93 you can put push to tire um, let's say so you can put like puts puts can be used for anything for integers and strings so this is my name okay I'm sorry about this and you don't need any semicolon or all of that so this is the beauty this is good for the programmers please subscribe for my channel this is going to put as it is okay so that is it this is how ruby works you can work on here one more thing so how can you get started without any browsing and surfing the internet and watching videos ruby provides you two things you go to computers and c drive and then open the ruby folder over here then you go to docs folder over here and you've got a lot of things here if you look you you have a pdf book so this will give you a basic understanding of ruby how the syntax and you know types and data types and all works in ruby then you've got one more thing ruby 2 to core okay just open it okay and so you have all the library simply let's say you want to search more about classes new allocate new super class how do these work you can have a look like this so this is kind of everything you have here array and array methods drop delete whatever you want to do just have a copy of it on your desktop just copy and paste it on your desktop okay here it is so everything is available there so ruby core is here you don't need to go on the web this is already there for you so simply copy and paste on your desktop and get started so that is it for this video please like share and subscribe for my channel and have a good day people bye bye take care